Today, the truck gets a hood. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. On today's video, that's right, we're gonna get a hood for the truck. I was sitting here working on this cross member and this other mounts and stuff up here in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But while I was working on those, I was sitting here trying to figure out the way the rest of the front of this truck was gonna come together. I already had the suspension and everything figured out to a T, what I wanted. So I needed to really figure out that grill scenario and the radiator scenario and all of that. So to begin with, I was rolling around ideas about maybe using some kind of 30s grill shell or something and rake it in here at a crazy angle or something like that. I've got about two foot between these mounts for this cantilever arms, so there'd be plenty of room for something like that in there. And it'd be cool to go ahead and cover up part of that front axle up there. I don't really like looking at the front axles up there just hanging out there by themselves, but I don't know. Everything that I was rolling around there... I kind of had a couple of ideas and it just wasn't really seeming like it was panning out and really matching the rest of the truck. And that was the problem that I was having with those kinds of style of grills and everything. So when I come in this morning, I'm still thinking about that and I'm working on some other stuff, kind of just staring at this off in the distance and it hits me. I just need to put a hood on this thing. The body line on those hoods start about here and they've got a nice arch in them. So the headers and everything could hang right out underneath all of the hood. That would look really cool. It's gonna have the body lines, it's gonna cover up some of this ugliness of the cow, and it's gonna give us some shape to the front end of this thing, so I can maybe just make a grill from there, and it's gonna actually all look like it's all part of the truck and looks like it's all cohesive and flows together. So unfortunately, I don't have a hood for the truck. So I got on the internet, I was looking around, I couldn't find anything within like 300 miles of the shop. So I'm like, okay, well I'm not driving that far for a hood. That's just ridiculous, there's gotta be one closer. So I threw an ad on Facebook Marketplace and it didn't take very long at all. I've already got somebody hit me up that they've got a hood. Um, it's been split in half at the seam, so he's gonna take 40 bucks for this hood. So I'm like, well shit, I can put it back together for you know 40 bucks, that's not too bad. And I'm gonna cut most of that center out anyway so we can have that tunnel ring I'm sticking through the top of it. So this sounds like the deal of the day to me. And I was looking in the pictures that the guy sent me. He's actually got some other sheet metal and stuff up there as well. So we we'll go up there, get the hood probably, and look and see what else he's got. Hell, you never know. Maybe the next shop project's up there just waiting for us to find it. So we finally get there after driving about two hours and sure enough he's got the hood just like he described split in half and everything and it's sitting inside this really cool old Plymouth body so I had to check that thing out it's really pretty decent shape and it's real tempting to bring that one home but I don't need another one sitting around at the moment so I went ahead and kept looking this 25 Dodge Brothers Turtleback is a pretty sweet looking car and it's got the doors and everything all there a little bit of rough shape, but where do you see one? I think it's the first one I've seen in person, so that's pretty cool. And then he's got all kinds of little buildings here that used to be like a hog shelter or something like that that's got parts just shoved in it everywhere. So, gotta check out all this stuff, see what there is, see if there's anything that I need to bring home. I tried having the sound on here with the video, but it just didn't work very well. We are shooting this stuff with my phone and out here in the open with all the other noise around and everything the sound is pretty bad everybody was chastising me about that on the uh, video when we went out to the salvage yard so i didn't want to put you guys through that again so that's why i'm just talking over this part so my inner hoarder tells me that i just need to buy all this stuff but i've got to reel that guy back in every once in a while because sometimes he gets a little crazy so I only brought the pickup and I only brought the pickup and no trailer or anything for a reason because then I can't bring back more than just a pickup load, right? So we're digging through all this stuff and I did find a few parts and pieces that match some of the junk that I've already got sitting around. So I thought, well, hey, I do have the pickup. I can bring back at least one load in the pickup, right? So after getting a pile stacked up that was big enough to fill up the pickup, we talked about it a little bit and made a deal on it. 
Then he tells me he's got even more stuff if I want to check it out. And that inner hoarder guy kicks back in again and says, well, sure. So we end up checking out a bunch of stuff. And one of the coolest things was this old Studebaker truck. It has a really neat patina on it and looked like a few years ago it was in really good shape. Unfortunately, that tree growing up through the front did damage the hood and the grill, which is a real shame because the rest of the truck was in pretty decent shape. But since it didn't have a rear end and the trees in there, I think it's probably best to just leave that one live for now, but you never know. Maybe someday I'll get bored and have to go back up there with chainsaw and save that one. So we ended up picking that farm for about two hours. There was some stuff in tree rows and some old buildings up in some of those uh, pig pen areas that you guys were seeing. And I ended up with a whole truckload of rusty sheet metal. Let me show you guys what all we ended up with. So the old vintage roll of wire is actually my wife's find. She's gonna put that around her chicken coop. It's kind of some neat wire, it's got a cool design too. It's not just the stuff that you can go today and buy at the farm store. And of course, I've got my pieces to the truck that we're working on. Here's one half of the hood. And the other half. Next thing I've got is a door off of some random old 30s coupe. Maybe sedan, something, I don't know. I'm guessing that it's maybe a Chevy, but I'm not 100% for sure. So, I don't know, have to do a little research on this one, see if it's worth anything or not. And then I ended up with some Model T parts. This cow is pretty well junk, but it could make some good yard art or something like that. This side's not too bad, but that side is just pretty well gone. Must have been down in the riverbed or something like that for a while before they found it, and I guess Mother Nature got that part. But these pieces are actually the quarter panel to probably a 25, 27, somewhere in that neighborhood uh, Model T. You guys can look at it and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. You can see them a little better there. They'd be something that you would find generally on a coupe, but I've got a couple of other pieces of some Model Ts and maybe one of these days I'll put something together and more than likely they'll probably end up being a Roadster style. And then of course the other side there was definitely some neat other parts out there but i just didn't have room to be able to put them in the truck and maybe one of these days i'll go back up there and see if they've dug out some more of the model t parts that they were talking about well let's get to work on this hood see what we end up with work to do up there on top of that thing but not too much I think I can get most of that out and then of course weld the pieces back together I think I might have a little bit of an issue here though Let's see. yeah I think I'm gonna probably end up having the uh, arm here for the front suspension that comes up and rocks I think it's gonna be hitting right about there so I might have to take a little section of that out and put something back in there but there again just little tweaks I think I can make all this work I think that makes it look sick, especially with the tunnel ram sticking through the top of it, and we'll probably come up with some cool looking scoop. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about all I got for you for today. I'll get to work doing some more stuff, and you'll see it next time.